during your regular season conference games. Tally Reifler, first pitch of the game. Into left field. 32nd season in charge of this program and another base knock. Reifler holds up at second, back-to-back -back singles for Binghamton. Roll to second, chance to turn to Houston. On a first, in time. The lefty. Got him. Just another routine win. Houston showing off the wheels. And he's in there and then some. They are Houston into second. Tellier lays one down as well. This could be trouble. And no throw from Bade. A little bit. 3-1. And Nick Kurtz draws his ACC leading at 12th walk of the season. As King finds the gap. It's an RBI single for Seaver King and Wake Forest strikes first. You understand pretty quickly. Reinish lifts it into left. Haskell struggling to find it. And that drops. Stellarek finally fields it. And everybody's safe. Ballestero. And he is retired. First down of the inning recorded by Gabe Driscoll. And it splits the wickets of Sullivan. And Kurtz will trot on home. 3 0 Wake Forest. And he ropes it down the left field line. One run across. Two runs in. It's a two RBI double for Austin Hawk. 2 2 from Driscoll. And there is the second out of the inning. Second K for the righty Driscoll. And he is down looking. So three strikeouts for Driscoll, but not before. We have road games that Binghamton had to play a couple of years ago when their new stadium was being renovated as that comes off the glove of Hawk and leadoff base runner, courtesy of Mike. Coaches notice those too. And Abraham is K'd up. Another strikeout for Hartle. That is his third. The man, you add up the package. Chance to turn to Houston. In time, another 4-6-3 double play. A lot of people. King is now two for two. The flips, yeah, two ground balls, two base hits. The flip side to that. King takes off, and Sullivan's throw is offline. It's a swipe. Oh! They'll say King was off the... And Driscoll misses outside ball four as Reinish... I don't know, you know, Eddie Murray was a pretty good switch hitter. Well, Ballestero put some power into this, and it is on the turf. Two bases for Tate Ballestero. Bring home a couple more right here. As he skies it to center, Rifler battling the sun. And Rifler tracks it, and it is deep enough to bring home a run. in a big pressure game and had some great at-bats. And he is retired. Adjustment this week. And is back to looking like the Josh of Olds. As Reinish has a beat on it, there's one away. It all had to do with balance. And looks on his toes a little bit. So it's all about balance. And he's also the type of guy that strikes out his fair share of batters. Another Full count delivery from Hartle is laced into left. And the inning continues. Base knock for Evan Sullivan. Well, probably. 0-2 oh, as Gunning powers it to right field. Reinish backtracking and Gunning stays red hot at the dish. A two-run blast and Binghamton is on the board. Stayed with the fastball very nicely and didn't try to pull it. Took it the opposite way. Wind blowing slip. 0-2 oh, from Hartle and he wraps up the frame. A fifth strikeout. And a big strikeout for McElhinney. That is his second condition. As he strokes it into center. Multi-hit game for Houston. 
natural to the shortstop spot. Houston takes off, Sullivan's throw. Oh, almost another overslide and uh, dying through those clouds, not a cloud of the sky now. And another strikeout for the righty. Grounder to short, Stelrecht on the money. And that wraps up the fourth. On to the fifth. Wanted a number, so I added a bunch of things together and gave him a number. Right back where it came from, Hartle. The flip for the first out of the inning. And a rare four-pitch walk issued by Josh Hartle. The one on Bain, sharply grounded to Telluride third, and it gets away from Hawk. Haskell speeds into third, and it's runners on first and third for Binghamton. He's in playing at third in college as comes off of Ballestero and two in scoring position for the Bearcats. And Sullivan grounds one to Houston. Run will score. And there is Nick Kirk showing off that six. Gunning hits it deep to center field. King at the wall, leaps and is out of here. A two home run game for Mike Gunning and Binghamton draws within one. Ball just kept going and going. And Binghamton is down by one as Tan rolls to Houston. And that wraps up the top half of the six. But not for the Bearcat. Hawk gets under it. Hawk launches. That one is wake up. Austin Hawk, his first home run as a Demon Deacon. And it's 7-5 Wake Forest, last four games. Yeah. Bounces to Stelrecht, and he's retired in the first pitch. Yeah. And one slap the opposite direction. Solid piece of contact, been into the glove of Logan Haskell. Think about it, but. Yeah. A sharp grounder off a hop, Bade. His throw is offline, and Houston's in a second. Very struck out swinging, and kind of an awkward swing as he chops this to short. Stelrecht, strong throw, in time. And we move on to the seventh. As it's yanked into left field, leadoff single for Logan Haskell, who is now two for three today. Off into some jams. Bade flares this, and it drops. Back-to-back -back singles to start off the eighth inning for the Bearcats. Sullivan swinging away here. Nelson under it. And there's the first out. Big strikeout as Gunning is retired. Tan. Just beyond the infields is caught by Houston. And he has his first strikeout. Another one. Back to back K's for Falco. The one two. Got him. Three straight strikeouts for David Falco. And Wake Forest picks up its fifth consecutive.